What up, what up, y'all? This is Chris Rivers, Dragons Up, and of course, I'm here with Young Culture Entertainment, and you are watching Creatives. Yeah. Keeping this sort of style to like rapping and trying to stay uh, true to yourself, and not trying, but staying true to yourself while remaining um, effective. Like I have this philosophy, right? You can either be effective or you could be respected, and very rare are both. And uh, in that sense, you got someone like, uh, let's say Lil Yachty, right? He's effective, he's su very successful, but a lot of people probably don't respect him for his artistry. Then you got someone like uh, Lupe Fiasco, who's very respected, but not effective in the context that he's getting the notoriety that he may deserve. And then you got someone like a Kendrick, who found a way to be effective and respected because he's one of the nicest out there, but he's still very successful. And I think finding that balance in yourself, it takes a lot because you, you want to compromise sometimes. Times, you know what I'm saying? You want to, but it's not about compromising. It's about understanding yourself enough that you could be yourself in other environments. You know what I'm saying? Like I learned that I could still be Chris Rivers. I can still deliver high content, whatever it is. And I don't need to be, you know what I'm saying? I could be poetic. I could be deep. I could be real. I could be myself. And as long as I'm more comfortable with myself and give people that, then I could really, you know, find that. So moving in the industry, I realized the most important thing to do is be comfortable with who you are and, and embrace that and be consistent with who you are. And you don't need to try if you're just being yourself. What's your tips? What's your advice to, to young artists uh, in general? Just, you know, the pitfalls that you see them come into when they're when they're navigating the industry, when they're coming oh, yeah. up. You know, what's that what's that thing that you guys like? I wish you guys would stop doing that. Oh, uh, like I think um, one, I think it's uh, giving up. I think it's just following trends. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think uh, I think that if you want to be someone that sticks around for a while, you got to understand that it might take a little while to get to the place where you establish that because there's a lot of people who could pop overnight. And then the people a lot of the people who was popping in 2018, 2017, a lot of them aren't here right now. So you, you, you leave as soon as you, you know, you come in. So I would say uh, know that you love this. Know what you're doing. Uh, be ready for some harsh times. Know yourself enough and just stay very consistent and uh find a good team i know a lot of people do this by themselves and they don't have their uh the business right the business is this is 90 percent business you know what i'm saying like you could be the good i'm i'm better than a, than most people out and i'm not as because the business needs to be very proper and we're learning more about business now and how to be effective and today it's like uh social media it's huge you know what i'm saying learning how to capitalize off of content you got to pay to play you got to invest in yourself a lot of people don't want to invest in themselves you want free beats you don't pay the producers you don't pay your videographers you don't pay for you know what I'm you don't do you don't put quality out then you're not going to get it back so invest in yourself believe in yourself stay consistent and just have a right team with you for real and know, I, and I know, know that you love it and know that you love it yeah i know about the not paying videographers yeah, part. yeah you know about <laughs> yeah. that i said it specifically because yeah. I, I know yeah yeah uh but okay so i wanted to if you don't mind i wanted to get your if it's all right with you, your perspective on uh, Nipsey Hussle and his, right. you know, his unfortunate uh, passing recently. Uh, what, you know, obviously it's a hugely, it's hugely negative, of it's course. A we, it's yeah. a loss. It's a huge loss. What have you seen positive come out of it? Like, what it, have you seen growth? Have you seen, you know, positive outreach, type th uh, things like that come out of it? Um, I'll, I'll address it in two ways. Like, I would say in a worldly way, uh, I think that in his it sucks that in people's death they get more notoriety uh but it also rocks when it's someone who was as revolutionary as he was i think a lot of his actions that people probably weren't aware of is being exposed to the world now and he kind of set a template for how to how you should be if you, if you get success if you get a voice and if you're from these places which most rappers or people are from these places that are impoverished and the, the amount that he gave back and the amount of purpose that he moved with i see it inspiring people i see gangs uniting i see other artists and other rappers really trying to get on there you know change the world tip and i think that's huge and even for me like because i was a fan of him prior but after he passed i did more research and figured out his accolades like so this is the first person and it may sound crazy but this is the most i've been affected in 
in the context of like, wow, I would want to be like this man. Like, you know, when I pass, I would want this type of effect and I want this type of impact on the world. So he kind of gave me a template even personally for how I should be and what I should shoot for and how to walk with purpose. So I think it's giving a lot of people that. I see the unity coming from it. And I think people are realizing like, yo, like this shouldn't have happened and we should try to make it so that it doesn't happen again. And we need more of him in the world. So, you know, if that if I could say something positive, I think that came from it. Listen, man, if you want to become a dragon, there's two ways. There's the, there's the existential normal dragon when you're, you're, this, you're this being that's so magnificent that most people find it hard to even believe in you, and that's by you becoming your best self. And if you want to become the other type of dragon, which is my fans, which is the dragon clan, then all you got to do is follow me, like, share, support, comment, and be a part of the movement, man, and you can be your best self, too. We out here.